Welcome everyone to another edition of Play It Through, and on this edition it's Vegas Dream, brought to us by HAL. Vegas Dream is a casino-based game where your goal is to play the various casino games and earn money, and when you hit the $10 million mark, you are the winner, and that's how you get the game's credits. For this run of the game, I'll be playing through each of the games a little bit, doing a few rounds each, though Blackjack is my game of choice and the one that I'll be using at the end in order to actually boost the money up pretty high. We'll start with Kino here. In Kino, you can select up to 15 numbers. I'm going to select 5 and start with that bet. Based on the amount of numbers that you decide to pick, it changes obviously the odds and the amount of numbers you need to get in order to earn money. And the more numbers that you get, obviously, the more money that you can end up earning. I always seem to lose at Kino in this game, so I don't play it all that often. But uh, I figure, of course, for the video, show it at least a little bit and do a few bets of Kino, which we're lucky enough to get three numbers, which is usually about as good as I can get. I've gotten four before, I've never gotten all five just randomly playing, though I've gotten tons of games where I've gotten millions and millions of dollars, but that's usually through blackjack, roulette, and uh, sometimes the slot machine. Unfortunately, you can't just auto-select the numbers again, you have to manually go in and select, which is another reason why I usually stick with five. It's something I've done when I play Kino randomly at a bar, and when I uh, play this game. I'm a big fan of casino games, and there's several on the NES, my favorite being Casino Kid, for sure. Is there a particular favorite casino-based game on the NES that you like, or even on console that you like? Are you into casino-based games at all? And, in turn, are you into them in real life? Because I do like going and playing slot machines every now and again, but I'm not a huge gambler by any means. I like the actual card games, but not necessarily actually gambling money. Randomly in the game, after betting a certain number of, of times, and just as the game goes, you'll get a random event. These are all different, there's a lot of different potential events, and they can go different ways. Basically, you'll have a choice of yes or no, usually in it, or sometimes you may be able to invest, like that case, with those stocks. And you'll either be successful, or you'll fail. You'll either lose money, or you'll end up winning money, but it doesn't affect anything else in the game. There's even one where you get married. Funny enough, you can actually get that one multiple times in the same game and marry the same person if you like to, just to see the cutscenes over again. You get a reward, though, for marrying, and thus, that's pretty much the point of it, is just getting that little bit of extra money through these random scenes. I'd showcase more of them throughout the game if I could, but obviously they're just kind of randomly triggered, though you'll see a few of them throughout the course of this run. We've earned a little bit of money with Kino. We're going to switch on over to the slot machine. There's two types of slot machine. The bar jackpot one here, and then the regular one, which has different implements of money that you can put into it, up to $100 per line. For the bar one, though, you're only betting on the single line in the middle. And here we're going to get something good as long as, yep, we got a few symbols together. As long as we have a couple of them together along with another bar on that line, you're going to win. And I actually end up winning a pretty decent amount of money. Usually more than I get for a lot of the slot machine play I do in this title. Unfortunately, not having much more luck here. Had a couple of good hits right at the beginning, and that's usually how it goes. You either get something right away, or get nothing, and then finally get something. My luck's all over the place when it comes to these kind of games.
Unfortunately, we're not going to get anything else it seems like right now. I'll just go ahead and spin it one more time. And nope, nothing again. Let's go ahead and switch up the game. I'm going to still stick with the slot machine, do the pot of gold 100 line. You can bet three lines, so you'll bet 300 per spin. And you have potential to earn more because of that. Though, honestly, my luck will remain pretty much the same throughout when it comes to the slot machine. The evolution of slot machines is funny just because they are so different now than what they used to be. Heck, even some of them have little things of skill like video game-esque parts of them now. Okay, bet enough on that. We're going to switch up over to Roulette, which I usually do pretty well on. Here you have all the numbers you can bet on. You can also bet on either just black, red, odds, evens, the first, second, or third set of 12 numbers. There's lots of potential bets you can end up picking with Roulette. I usually pick either red or black, and then pick one of the either first, second, or third sets of 12 to go with. Here we end up getting black and winning that bet, but I lose my other bet of the third 12. They showcase the entire board to make sure you know everything that went on, even if there's a single bet on the table. After racking up the money, we get to finally bet again. Sometimes it can take a bit depending upon what money you've earned and the denominations and the amounts. For this one, we're going to head and once again bet on black. And this time, we're going to go with, once again, the third set of 12. Hopefully this time, one of them will once again show up. And it looks like we got it. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but you can kind of see where it ends up landing. So we don't end up getting the black this time, we end up getting the third 12. So that bet is uh, the better of the two bets that I ended up making that time, but too bad we couldn't cash in on both. Another thing that can happen is a random person will come up and challenge you to a casino game. Either one of the ones here, or one called High or Low, which you can earn a lot of money in High or Low, and we're going to do that right now. We're lucky enough to get that one here. And basically what High or Low is, is you have your bet that you make. Decide whatever you want to place. And then decide whatever number next is going to be either higher or lower than the one that just went. So. Was the next one going to be lower or higher than 71? Now, early on, I'm going to take a risk and go low, but once I get it on those first two rows, usually I'm going to go for it, at least for a little bit. 27 is a little bit hard to judge, but lucky enough, I was able to go high on it, and then it ended up being 69 next. From there, we're going to go low, down all the way to 21. And right there, I'm just going to end it there. I've earned a lot of money. I don't want to risk potentially going anymore. So before we finish up a uh, roulette, we'll go ahead and bet again here. Bet a lot of money on black this time. And uh, some money once again on the third 12. Well, once again, it's 17, so we get the one bet, but we don't win the second bet. <laughs> Gotta love that. We do earn a little bit of money, though, so we have a decent amount so far as we're working our way towards the $10 million mark. 
Once you start getting up into the hundred thousands, then you can, it doesn't take long to get into the million, and then that ten million spot. We're gonna go ahead and make another bed here, do the same bed I've been doing. Maybe not the most interesting bet, but... I've had long-term success with it, so... Unfortunately, once again, we do not win the one, but we do win the other one, so we won some money back. And it'll be a good time to uh, switch it up now and go over to Blackjack where we can really end up cleaning up with the money. Before we end up doing that, though, we end up being asked to lend someone $200. I'm going to go ahead, since I have plenty of money, even if I lose the $200. And we ended up getting a reward of $1,000, because the person used the $200, won more money, and gave us some back. Not that that 1000 really helps us at all at this point, but still, it's another 1000 Go ahead and change up the game and go over to Blackjack. The rules of blackjack are simple, you need to get to 21. Don't go over. One thing you can do is if you get two of the same card, or denomination card, you can split them into two separate bets. I'll do that sometimes, but usually with 10s. Or another lower number. Ace is worth 11, or it's worth 1, depending on how it goes. Like, right now I have 18, but I could hit and potentially get it up to with a 5, and then, betting again, the 8, I can get it to 21. A little bit of a risk on that one, but I'm not betting everything with each one of my turns. I'm trying to earn that money slowly a little bit, so that we don't end up getting down too much. I'm going to stand with the 15, not very high, but I'm afraid to bet anymore per another hit on it. I'm lucky enough that they go over. The AI will consistently go over, even if it's going to beat you with the first set. It had 16. It would have won right away, but it decides to go for one more card, and thus I win on that one. Here we have two queens. I'm going to go ahead and split it up into two separate bets here. I get a 9 and an 8. I'm just going to go ahead and stand. with both of them, and hopefully they'll either go over or go below that. Yep, they go over, and we end up winning both of the bets there. The next event I end up getting ends up being weird. It asks you to change a $5 bill, but if you say yes or no, either way, you end up getting this response usually from the newscast. They just apologize to you and give you money. I'm not sure why they're apologizing to us. Somebody just asked for change, but... I'm gonna stand with the 20. Another 19 to start off with, so another really good hand. I'm going to go ahead and stand with that again. Thankfully the AI overthinks it, keeps going up. This time they had to officially, but still, they end up going over. We've broken now into, like, the millions section of the threshold, so we're getting close, just a little bit farther to go to get to that 10 million, but we have to be cautious not to overbet on things. I get lucky and uh, I'm able to get a blackjack on the one split here, and then I have to debate whether or not I want to stand with it or hit. I'm going to go ahead and stand with 19. Whew. 
Whew, lucky they go 18, and I'm able to win with both of my bets once again. The amount of times, though, I've gone bankrupt on similar situations has happened quite a bit. Or at least hurt me a lot in the money amount that I had to reset, basically. Unfortunately, I go over here. The AI goes over as well, but... Me going over, I still end up losing here. I'm gonna go ahead and double down on my next card. This allows you to place double the bet that your next card will be the one that ends up being enough to win. It's a 15, so... Not great, a 6 got me up to there, but the other person went over, so I ended up winning on that one. Here we get a 13. I'm gonna go ahead and hit on that, and end up going over, unfortunately. Only a few cards can put me over, and of course that's one of the ones I end up getting. Doing a little bit of a risky bet here, just because of the amount of money, but I am going to stand with the 18. Thankfully, they only get 17, so we end up winning that hand. That greatly helps us, because we were about to go below the million spot. Ooh, a 21. Lucky. Extremely lucky to get a blackjack right on the draw there. So... Very easy round, at least for us. Would have placed a bigger bet, obviously, if I knew that was gonna happen. Here we get one last random event. They ask you to go meet with somebody. I'm gonna say yes, and you end up meeting with a lawyer, and end up getting an inheritance from your grandfather. Not a whole lot of money, but we'll go ahead and take that, as we will make this bet here. All we need to do is win, really, one more good bet, and the 10 million will be ours, and we can sit back and enjoy the ending here. Go ahead and hit on that and get a 21. Nice way to finish things up here. The AI ends up with a 17. We are the winner, and we've hit that 10 million dollar mark, and now can enjoy the ending, the Vegas Dream, on the NES. So there you have it, Vegas Dream on the NES. Not the best casino game ever, but a fun one that is beatable. I love ones that you can actually get to like a money amount or accomplish a goal and actually get to see an ending to it.
It is cool that HAL Laboratory was the creator of the game, so the makers of Kirby and such were the ones who put this one out. At the end of the credits, we see the HAL America Inc., and then it goes back to the title screen where you can start the game all over again. But that's gonna wrap up this episode of Play It Through. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.